All right, guys, I want to share with you a brand that is newly emerging onto the micro brand scene. Uh, one of the owners, it's actually a twin brothers that own the company, but Philip reached out to me and uh, shared with me a little bit about their company and what their goals are. And then he sent me some pictures and I got to say, he kind of got me drawn in a little bit. So I agreed to uh, check it out so I can share it with you guys because I think it's a, a legit um good quality build watch and it has a couple of unique things that I have not um, seen in the micro brand world or any manufacturer at this point. Maybe you guys can correct me on that, but um, I'll cover that in a minute. So this is Ithias and then I'm not sure if it's Abyss or Abyssi because it, it's A-B-Y-S-S-I. So, uh, but this is their one and only watch right now. It's a 300 meter dive watch and they test each watch 100 to 125% of the water depth rating of 300 meters. So um, let's back up a second because this is a, it's a USA company. I think they're out in Washington, at least that's where they were born and raised, went to school and all of it, thing like that. So I think they're still out in Washington state. Um, but they use, you know, they get their components, they spec out their components, they get them in, and then they actually assemble and quality control check them here in the States. So that's a, a good way to ensure that you're going to have a quality product before you actually uh, receive it. Speaking of which, they actually have the units. This is not a pre-order, it's not a crowd, crowdfunding or anything like that. They actually have the watches. So I'll put a link in the description to their website um, and then you can choose if you want to, um, you know, check one out. I, th I think it's a, uh, it's a really good looking watch and the price point is, I th unless things change, but when you go to the website right now, as of today, um, the 23rd of November, 2019, the price is $735. So what you get for that is a 40.5 millimeter watch and a 47 millimeter lug to lug. You can see really nice sharp turndowns there, drilled lug holes. 13.2 thick, that's included the flat anti-reflective sapphire crystal. And you have a 22 millimeter lug width here, and the bracelet does taper down to a 20 mil. It is a really nice bracelet. It has a little bit of openness to it, so it's going to breathe for you on wrist. It is a pin and collar system. It has a really nice solid pin, and then the collar is actually the same width as that center link, and they'll kind of snap and lock into place. Um, it can be a little tricky for some people to size that, but that's probably one of the most secure bracelets you're going to have. It's all milled out clasp, and this part here I believe is, well, it's kind of milled-ish stamped. Um, double deployment pushers here and two micro adjust. Pretty simple operation there. Also signed clasp there. Really nice case back. You can see there's some information there. Swiss movement, and the movement inside is actually the SW200, which they regulate to six positions as well. So this is like kind of a no holds barred type, um, you know, micro brand where you know they're checking a lot of boxes that um, you know certain amount of people that are searching for watches like this have, such as good quality control, USA made, you know, some a couple of the unique features. Uh, regulated movement, actual confirmed uh, water resistance. So those boxes are all checked if those are the boxes that you want checked. Really nice knurling on the, or, you know, scalloping or whatever you want to call it, on the crown, oversized crown, easy grip, super easy to operate. Um, once you get it unscrewed, it has a nice little pop, and then you can go into the wind function. Second setting is going to be your date setting, and then, of course, you're going to be able to hack and adjust the time. So, pretty simple operation. Um, also, very, very stout crown assembly. There's like very little movement to it, so it's very clean there. And a nice, clean, smooth wind. So you can see, let's zoom in. You can see the case finishing on this is just superb. Very finely uh, brushed with a polished angled relief there as it transitions back up to brushed bits. And then... You can see on the underside of the crown guards there, also polished, signed crown with the eye. And then if you look at this, this is the uh, really nice navy blue style one. I think there's a black one as well. And you can see it's a printed on dial, but they put a heavy application of C3 loom on the dial, the handset, and also onto the bezel. 
and there's two looms and hopefully the camera will pick it up when I go to the loom shot later. So you can see a nice polished handset, sword style, red tipped seconds hand, nice date window framed in at the three o'clock position. So everything really cleanly done. Also, you guys know I'm a big fan of when the bracelet center link off the solid end link articulates so it's going to lay flat. It's going to lend itself to being even more comfortable than its perfect size already is for most wrist size. Um, so let me pop this on wrist so you can get a good look at that. See, there it is on my seven and a quarter wrist. So I like this bracelet. Um, I would prefer a little bit more micro adjust on the clasp, but um, it's not a deal breaker. The links are short enough. I was able to get a good size, but very good looking on wrist, I believe. But I'm also a big fan of metal bezels. And then, like I said, the loom on this is going to be killer. So the the one item I, that I kind of said that was a little unique that I have not seen is this is a stainless steel watch with a titanium bezel. I don't know why, but um, I think it's kind of cool. So I'm not sure why they did it um, other than the fact that they are watch enthusiasts and I think maybe they wanted to do something different just to see how it went. They're both uh, have engineering backgrounds. Um, I think Biomed engineers actually, and they're both big time into watches, cars, you know, outdoors, um, diving and uh, motorcycles and all that stuff, which most of us are also kind of uh, geeking out about, except for they also have the added thing of being an engineer. So they have that analytical side of things. So bezel action, 120 click, super tight, zero play and uh, plenty audible. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes when you have a titanium watch, the bezel action is not amazing. Uh, but this one being stainless steel with a titanium bezel, uh, for some reason, it just works really good. And it's very sharp traction all the way around. So let's uh, check out a loom shot because it is going to be very good. I already kind of previewed it. So hopefully you're picking that up. I believe you are. So you have like... Um, a cool blue on all of the indices, the hour hand, the second hand, all of the bezel with the exception of the 12 o'clock pip is green and the minute hand is green. So this thing is a loom junkies uh, dream. Like this is like loomed out to the max. I'm not sure what formula they use of C3, but uh, I like it and I think many other companies need to adopt it. So big thanks to Philip and his twin brother for uh, sharing this with the Random Rob channel and you guys. So um, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next vid.